Welcome back. Today, we're diving into a heated courtroom clash between Judge Netburn and Senator Cruz. It's a battle of ideologies and justice. We'll break down every argument and get to the heart of this intense confrontation. Buckle up, hit that like button, and let's get ready to rumble. In your court, what matters more? The rights of individuals or your political ideology? Wow, starting off strong with a direct challenge. This is going to be intense. I apply the law to the facts. I, I asked a question, which matters more? Well, my political ideology doesn't matter at all. Interesting response. She's sticking to the law, but Cruz isn't letting up. Okay, so I don't believe you. And I think this case demonstrates that you are willing to subjugate the rights of individuals to satisfy your political ideology. This case involves a male defendant who raped a nine-year-old boy. Was he guilty of that? Yes, the petitioner pled guilty to that. Okay, so he raped a nine-year-old boy. He also raped a 17-year-old girl. Was he guilty of that? He pled guilty, the petitioner pled guilty to that crime as well. Cruz is hammering home the severity of the crimes. It's clear he's building up to a major point. So was he guilty? I, I hope so, because she pled guilty to it. Uh, he was a he when he did this. That's correct. One year after being released again, he was convicted of having child pornography. Is that correct? I'm, I'm unclear on exactly the time frame that you're at, but, but the petitioner was convicted of distributing child pornography. Child pornography that, that was images of adults violently raping children. Abhorrent conduct. Okay. For which there are real victims. And this individual, six foot two, biologically a man, a minute ago you said that when this man decided that he was a she, you, 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 you said this individual was, quote, I wrote it down, sober and entirely a female. That phrase struck me as, as, as remarkable. Did this individual have male genitalia? I, I think what I said, or at least what it, I... It, it, that is a verbatim quote, entirely a female. Sorry, what I meant to say was hormonally a female. Okay. This is a critical point. The judge's wording is under intense scrutiny. Okay, but that's not entirely. Did this individual have male genitalia? Yes. So you took a six foot two serial rapist, serial child rapist with male genitalia. And he said, you know, I'd like to be in a women's prison. And your answer was, that sounds great to me. Let me ask you something. The other women in that prison, do they have any rights? Is, is that a question you're yes, asking me? Yes, the other women in that prison, do they have any rights? Of course. This is a pivotal moment. Cruz is questioning the safety and rights of other inmates. Do they have the right not to have a six foot two man who is a repeat serial rapist put in as their cellmate? Senator Cruz, I considered the facts presented to me and I reached a decision. The judge is standing by her decision, but Cruz isn't satisfied. I asked you a question. A I asked you a question. Do they have a right not to have a six foot two man who is a serial rapist put in as their cellmate. Do those women have a right to that? Every person who's incarcerated has the right to be safe in their space. But you didn't think so. You, you didn't think so. And in fact, I'm gonna give some quotes from your order because Senator Kennedy is right. This is not a judge's order. This is a political activist. By the way, the beginning of your order uh, says, at birth, People are typically assigned a gender. I gotta say that would astonish a lot of Americans. A lot of Americans think you, you, you go to the hospital, a baby is born and you congratulations, you have a little boy, a little girl. The assigned a gender, I know you went to Brown, but it sounds like it's in a college faculty lounge with no bearing on reality. Cruz is accusing the judge of activism. This is a serious allegation. The Bureau of Prison argued what I'm saying right now, that if you put this person in a female prison, there will be a risk of sexual assault to the women. And you know what you did? You said you didn't care about the women. Have you dealt in what universe is someone who is a serial repeat child rapist not at a risk of reoffending? Senator, as I do in every case. Okay, I know you've been told to repeat the line, I follow the law. I asked a question, in what universe is someone who is a serial repeat child rapist not at risk of reoffending? Sir, I looked at the facts that were before me in this case. 
all of the evidence, including the statements of every warden who had supervised this petition. I have to say, if I were the father of one of those women, and you decided that my daughter's cellmate was going to be a six foot two man who over and over and over again committed violent sexual assault. I would say the entire justice system is absurd and it is clear on your record, your political ideology matters a heck of a lot more than the rights of those women that you endangered. I think you're a radical and I think you have no business being a judge. This case highlights some very serious issues within our legal system. It's a tough topic, but it's important to discuss. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Now that we've tackled this serious topic, let's switch gears and check out two instances where woke individuals got instantly owned. Hey, JT, yeah, let me have this house. JT, let you have my house. Yes. My shit. He, we, I want it. You're trespassing on my property. You didn't win shit in my yard. Wait, 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 I, all of you. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? Get but it struck me that in, in, in the first segment, you used the term woke and you said that woke is what was sort of ruining everything. And I, I just, the term woke has been, in my view, weaponized and bastardized. And um, so I was surprised to hear you use the term because historically, it, woke is a word used by the black community to note that we must be aware of social injustices. I'll use any term you want. Okay. Because maybe that is a word that's triggering, and so we let's not use that word. I don't <laughs> Wait a minute, Bill. You cannot let these people dictate what terms you are allowed to use, because as soon as you cave to these people, they will want even more. And that's the result of the woke mind virus. It is a virus. It makes people sick, okay? Now, by making this about black people and racism, Sonny, who not only has the virus, but is also a well-known race hustler, that's what you are, she made you censor yourself. This means you took orders from a virus. And as a liberal, which you are, that is why your ideology is being replaced by the virus. And that's because you are weak. I spent countless hours on this video on the screen. So click here to check it out and I'll see you guys over there. Thanks for watching.